Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Tim Timpedia, and I am back with episode 46, jeez, that's a high number, of Let's Play Oblivion Modded, and hopefully to God, these two motherfuckers do not piss me off so much that I have to kill them again. But either way, we have one more person along for the ride that you guys cannot see, because his name is General Lots, and he is, well, not in Oblivion. Precisely. Unless one of you out there wants to create a modded character with uh, my face on it, which I'd be very appreciative of. You know, I would think that I would get it first, because I'm the one who's doing this Let's Play. Well, I guess, yeah, maybe. Get both of us. We'd be I'm the, the one who had to put up with these two more... Oh my God. So good. I got... Seriously, he just said it again. I'm just standing here, and he's like, so far, so good. So far, okay. so good. <laughs> now, I've actually gotten to this part and completed it in my game. I'm gonna swing this thing so it fucking kills them. <laughs> Boom! I hope it hurts you, you idiots. I don't care if it hurts me. I'm just gonna throw it. Oh, oh, that should. Oh, that didn't hurt him. Would you leave There's him blood. alone? There's blood all over it, though. It's probably my blood. So Look, I oh, have... bird's getting stabbed. By... Look at that. <laughs> bird. That's gotta hurt. That's gotta hurt. Would you leave well, bird alone? That actually hurt. Oh, that just bounced off his face. That actually hurt me a bunch. <laughs> you know, what were you gonna just... say? Leave him alone. So bird's far. not that. So Are you? So far. So just Look at calm. His... He's just saying it. There's no calm. reason for him to say it. Calm. Deep breath. I hate these idiots. So far, so they literally you know? say it every single time I walk near them. I know, I know. I did this quest, obviously. I've done this quest multiple times over years. How, wow, I can't believe I left this spider Daedra alive. I didn't even realize that. Oh, well. She just instantly died. So tempting. While we're playing this game, though... Oh, while you're playing it, I'm just sitting here. Would you leave them alone already? I They're didn't not doing anything to you. Yes, they are. They won't shut the fuck up. So see, this is where I did it, right, the last time. You, since you, you didn't see it since it hasn't been released yet, but... Episode 44, right here, I was just like, I couldn't take it. I even cut Bird's face off and he was unconscious. Would you leave though. them alone? They have to have their faces. Oh yeah, you didn't see this either. The skybox for this, for the uh, Oblivion Tower and for the outside, when I first came in, both broken. But it's blue outside. It had a blue sky when I went into the Oblivion Gate in episode 45. <laughs> Okay. That's it's really weird. look at it. Yeah. It's, what, it's what just blue up there. Okay. If this thing fucking insta kills me again, I'm gonna be really pissed save. off. Save. Wait. Save. Save. Yeah, save, that's a good save. idea. I like that idea. Yeah, I know. Okay. Bird, are you serious? <laughs> Don't do it. Stop. No. Can they detect me? Okay, they can't detect me. <laughs> Why'd you do that? <laughs> because I want the outfit. I One thing I always try to do in these games is collect all the, uh... What the fuck? Are you serious? Yeah, no, oh they're my God. attacking you. That's not very Oh my strong. God, bird. Yeah, accept my yield, bird, you piece of... I'm trying to show you how to... There you go. There you go. That's all you do. You pick up the damn crystal. It shoots into the sky. The blue sky. Flame shoots up. We all burn in hell. And then we teleport back to the real world, okay? Not very difficult. Wow, that was really funny. For, for a second there, as this whole screen turned white, I could see, like, the outline of Bird's hair sure in the w as the one non-white thing on the screen. But oh, where the hell did this idiot come from? And evaporated. It was an honor to serve with you, sir. Damn right it was, Bird. Yeah, you you and your guardsmen can clearly do as much as I've freaking done. Look what? closed the Oblivion Gate. We didn't, <laughs> we didn't ever think... Them. We didn't ever think we'd see you alive again. No oh, Don't kill him. Shut up. Thanks to our friend here, we can now close these gates. Don't kill him. Or we spe Wait, what, what the hell is this gravestone doing over here? I don't know. Maybe it's a mod. CC switch? Oh, crowded city. Turn on respawning. I don't even know what that does. That's so funny. That's just a switch for the crowded cities mod. That's still funny. Anyway, famous. Captain Bird, a support to Joffre that I was successful. I still don't get why you don't wear really good armor. I mean, seriously. Because I'm so I'm so OP at this point. I don't even care. <sighs> you know, that's half the fun of these games is having awesome armor. You're just wearing the blade stuff. I stopped wearing that. Well, actually, to tell you the truth, I never even started wearing that. What am I saying? Yeah, I know. Oh, uh. Shut the hell up, helicopters! God, you're loud. I'm gonna use the katana. Now, I'm gonna use. Uh, mistaken, look I at how think. much. Look at how much weaker this is. Twenty-eight damage versus seventeen. 
Yeah, and yeah. there's no uh, charges on it. I am now a blade. Use the good stuff. I'm a blade, except when I use the Stendars. Look at look at that bow, though. That's fucking awesome compared to the in-game bows. It is it is a nice bow, but I still don't know why you don't wear the Molnir armor. Who's a bow? You need to wear look the Molnir that, armor. That's actually the legitimate size of a longbow, much more so than the actual in-game bows. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I would actually. Although I've never used a longbow. Oh, whoops! I didn't mean. I forgot to change my quick number to the katana. <sighs> Using weak weapons, terrible yeah, oh. armor. Pro you tip. If you if you literally stand here and watch these guys, eventually you'll get a permanent blade skill increase. Yeah, well, I am nice. not fucking kidding. Anyway, where'd Jaff go? We've got I've got a life, so I don't have to time to sit there and. Well, I'm watch. not saying I'm saying you can just leave the game running and just watch the and just have to watch Good them. Work. Got, but, yeah. What other 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 problems? Make some progress on them. Speak to him. Woo. Bruma oh, fuck. I always hated the allies for Bruma Quest. Ugh. I'm. That's actually. Truth be known, I'm not gonna. Say, I better not say that. Make the fans angry. <laughs> what? What? No, better not. But what? Just anyway, say it. I don't care. What? When I what? actually did the video for Oblivion, that's as far as I'd got. <laughs> okay. So what? I figured out another item. Another item. The item is the counter. The blood of the divine. The blood of a divine. Now wait, wait, wait let me. Oh, so I you... got the blood of the divine. I got okay, wait, no, no, just wait. Like the let me, let me finish going through the dialogue. The gods have no artifacts. The gods have no artifacts. Power okay. To obtain the blood of a god. Blood of Tiber Septim himself, who became one of the divines. This is a secret remembered only. Okay, so Joffrey's going to tell you about Tiber Septim, the emperor who became a god and became Talos. Now. After I talk to Joffrey, I gotta really point out a, a really big fucking plot hole to it. What the? Oh, I, I have the aid for Bruma on. I, I meant to have the, uh, fuck the allies for Bruma quest. I hate that thing. Close an oblivion gate outside of every single fucking city in the game. Wonderful. Why did it tell me to go in the side door to come into here? <laughs> because so, it just Martin did. You the, armor the armor of Timer Septim. Yeah, I got Tiber that. Septim. The it's shrine weak, of Timer Sancreator, whatever. No, no. Okay, now here's a big plot hole. Okay, so there's blood of Tiber Septim on the armor of Tiber Septim, right? Yeah. Okay, I can I can accept that as legitimate, but then how the fuck? Did Mankar Cameron get the blood of a divine to open his portal? Uh, he went to the blood bank. I don't know. Like, honestly, where did he get it from? He could easily get a Daedric artifact from his master, Mayrun's Dagon. Easily. But then where the hell did it... <sighs> it's not like he's on good terms with the gods and it's just like, Oh, hey, Akatosh, can I uh, get a court of your blood to open this portal to, so that Mayrim's Dagon can take over the universe? Sure, bro. I got, I'm got. i all over that, bro. Oh, fuck you, Wraith. Or Lich, whatever. You're the same thing. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Boom, you're done. Wow, this sword's a lot weaker. Oh, look at this guy. He's casting spells into the back of his allied skeleton. Why is this bush in the way? Like, it completely blocks off. I can't see... Anything. Okay, I'm just gonna kill the freaking witch. So oh, wait, you know what? Huh? I guess you could say it's Bush's fault. <laughs> oh my god. I'm surprised you actually made that joke. <laughs> but that's starting to get into politics, and I hate talking about politics. Exactly. Let's move along. Let's move right along. Unless we're talking about the celestial bureaucracy, then we can talk about politics. Fuck it. I, uh, I gotta say this. When I played Jade Empire, I thought that was this. Stupidest thing I ever saw, the celestial bureaucracy. And then oh. when you did your let's play of it, I just burst out laughing. <laughs> what, when I said it was horrible? Yeah. When I said it was really bad? Oh yeah, it's bad. I can't fucking reach the guy! <laughs> oh my god, this over-encumberment. I just have to sit here and wait. There's nothing I can do. Oh wait, can... duh, I'm an idiot. Oh my god. But hey guys, we're you... back. We're back. It, game crashed. Sorry about that. The game is crashing a lot more lately. I don't really... I have no idea why. It just is. That guy got fucked up. Who detected me from that? How did this idiot detect me because I shot a skeleton? 
Because he's just well trained. Did a skeleton just respawn? Oh no, that's that the witch summoned him. Oh, the witch just ate that arrow like a champion. Boom! Oh, did you see that niche go? Lich go? Fl niche lich? Niche? The, the lich went fly. What the? Oh wait, it's not dead. <laughs> he's not dead. Kill him again. He's probably cut his head off. Get up, so I oh, can wait. kill you again. Only way to be sure. But yeah, before, oh before the crash, we were talking about uh, the celestial bureaucracy. Yep. <laughs> that was one of the sillier things in Jade Empire. I don't get what. Why would you ever write something about the celestial bureaucracy? Like, did they honestly expect that to sound serious? Have you, have you gotten to the part in Jade? Have you gotten to the part in Jade Empire? I haven't in my Let's Play yet, but I, I obviously I know about it since I played the game already. Oh. Um, did you get to the part where you meet? The merchant from the bureaucrat, or the the bureaucrat, who talks to your party when you when you go into a subsection of the bureaucracy. No, I'm not anywhere near there. Oh, you have to get into the forest at Tien's Landing. I'm and probably just before that, though. I, that's I am probably in the forest. that's probably a couple episodes away for me, but let me tell you, he is so pathetic. It's just ridiculous. All right, let's try to finally recover. I just don't get armor. it though. Why would the Why would the gods want a bureaucracy? How does that even work? Well, they all they have, have. They almost maintain their station. I what know, is this idiot but... doing? I think I stun locked a wraith, but there's no fallover animation for him. Why did you just shoot the ground? Let's see. Does he keep the arrows? No, oh, fuck. I hate fighting ghosts with a bow. Yeah, I'm using the sword of Gondor again, guys. I, I want to have one good thing that kills people quick. Yeah, instead of using the Molnir armor and the energy shield, the energy sword, that's what, I'd be all over that. I know you would. But I've already played the game. I'm, I'm used to using the really OP stuff. I would be all over that like flies on a corpse. Why? You know, <laughs> never needed to be said. Yeah, I know. But it was. Oh, look at all these idiots. See, now they're not detecting me. That first guy... Oh, my God. Are you fucking serious? Did you see him turn around at the perfect time to see me? Yeah, he's got... Yeah, the... this is great security right here. Put a lever to open the gate behind the gate. <laughs> you know... Or, like, on the wrong side of the gate. You when know you what I mean. you think about it, though, I mean, if you just want to get through your bloody base, you don't want to have to go 47 feet out of your way just to go check the mail. And you know what? Wait a second. Let me check. Yeah, there's no lever on the other side. How does so that literally, you could... Someone could just lock you in here. Like a thief? Oh, what? The upper half of the tower's... Uh, everyone's in the lower half of the tower. Why don't I just lock them all down there and they'll never be able to get out, ever. Oh, here's an undead blade. I have to free these idiots to get the really? armor. Oh, yeah, you are supposed to kill them. Yeah, I thought, you it are. Was, I thought it was a ghost for a second. I was like, wait a minute, you're not supposed to kill them? They gotta go and they gotta chant or something. Yeah, they do. I just heard him respawn. Oh yeah, you missed it also, since I didn't release that episode yet. I got the skeleton key up finally. I was just tired of dealing with freaking lockpicks. Hey, dude! Yeah, that is very overpowered. I was a loyal blade of Tyra Septim. I have been dead, it feels like an eternity. Well, it's been pretty damn close, dude. It's been, I think, millennia, if I remember correctly. Not millennia, no, but centuries. Centuries. Which, for humanity, My three companions were sent to the Emperor. Something defiled the catacombs. The Underking had arisen... He defeated them and enslaved them, and now they have to unlock the armor of Tyver Septim so I can kill the Under King and get the armor. So now I have to find the other three former blades. Good. Wonderful. And here's a question for you. Mm -hmm. While we're wandering around just sort of grinding. Not really, Just but to see. Whatever. Since you're a loyal player of Oblivion, what did you think of my review? I thought it was good. It covered a lot of the points. I probably would have agreed with... I, I, I'd say I agreed with most of it. I'd probably have just disagreed with minor things, and that that would only be because I've played it so much more than you have. Well, there is that. I probably know a lot... Well, I, not probably. I do know a lot more about the game than you do. Well, yeah, I think but so. But for someone who's played it as much as you have, it was a, a good review. Good thing I helped. Precisely. <laughs> uh, yeah, guys, if you're watching this, you should check out General Lotz's review, since I'll probably never get around to reviewing Oblivion. Since I don't really have to. I mean, you guys have watched the Let's Play and seen me be like, Oh my god, this game is so good! I mean, I've already announced it multiple times as my favorite game of all time, so... Now, what should be somewhat interesting is that's what I was going to do with Code 4 2. 
is I wasn't going to review it. I was just going to let's play it because I liked it so much. That worked out well for you. But I just couldn't make it as funny as I liked. Oh, hey, look. You're, this Wraith is just like, oh, hey, what's going on? Oh, boom, I got shot in the face. <laughs> and he's yeah, dead. Bleed smoke out of your fucking neck, asshole. Yeah, That does look now? pretty good, actually. What, the bow? No, the, or the kill blasting out. Oh, yeah. He's like, bah! <laughs> Oh, I hear another oh. wraith. It's probably right around here. Oh, there he is. Boom. And oh. Probably sounded like that. Oh, this, let's see if I can... That should hit him. And... Oh, wait. I for, oh, shit. I forgot I can zoom since I'm a high-level marksman. Oh, my God. I'm an idiot. How do you forget a basic gameplay mechanic? That's I've never... In none of my other playthroughs have I gotten good enough at marksman to ever use it. <laughs> so, after... T I would say that after 200 hours, you get into certain patterns. And and look, it doesn't do it unless you already have the arrow drawn. It blocks otherwise. Whatever. Oh, this guy's so fucked. And... Oh, look at that arrow. Oh, that was right in his forehead. I, I, I'm st it's still hard to get used to because normally arrows drop a lot more than they do when they're fired from the Stendar bow. Like, these arrows are dropping not at all compared to what I'm used to. This is a cool name, too. The Stendar Bow. The st no, it's actually Stendar's War Bow. That's even better. I know. <laughs> oh, this guy's so headshot. And... Boom. Oh, Boom. my God. I mean, he's not dead yet. Now he is. Now he Oh, look, he's just trapped down there. Oh, oh, he stood up into it. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> and now the blade should reappear. Okay. The blade should... I know. Yeah, you freed me. Whatever. You don't even have dialogue, so fuck off and go free your emperor. <laughs> now, well, I can't uh, wait for like 10 years from now, when Oblivion is like a lot of the older ooh, RPGs ooh, nice. are, you know, where you can easily, well, you can already easily modify it, but modify it even easier. Wouldn't it be great if there's like a Call of Duty mod where you go around with a bow? That'd be really funny. Call of Duty, uh, medieval. Yeah. That's such a good idea for a game! Oh my god, that'd be so badass! Call of Duty Ancient Warfare! Oh my god, that would be the shit! Can you imagine how much fun that would be? Like, there's no real good, like, sword and bow multiplayer games. Yeah, that's right. Like, there's all these RPGs and stuff like this, but like, Star Wars Battlefront with swords and bows? Although, actually, no. There is one game that tried to do that, and it actually was made by Pandemic. It's, uh, Lord of the Rings Conquest. Never played it. Didn't go over so well. I've played it at my girlfriend's a couple times. It's pretty fun, but it's not really anything spectacular. I don't know. Maybe that's the next big uh, leap for Infinity Ward. Well, I don't know. We have to see Modern Warfare 3. Something tells me you're going to order that game. <laughs> you no, know, I might not order it because I didn't even pre-order Doom. Duke Nukem Forever, so we'll just have Well, to you see. still have time. I mean, we're recording this on Saturday, and it comes out on Tuesday. It's already out in the UK. What? How is or, it out uh, in the UK before? No, it's uh, not UK. Europe. All of Europe already has it. What? Actually, what? no, I think... Not even... I think even more than that, I think the entire international release is already out. For Duke, that's just wrong. But then again, I guess they can feel vindicated since we usually get it first. Oh, dude. Oh, fuck, he saw me. I shouldn't have kept walking. Since, dude, you know, headshot. Amer America usually oh. gets all the game releases first. We can let him have Duke. Yeah, except for, like, Japanese stuff. Well, yeah. But that makes sense, because... JRPGs and all that worthless Although, game. although, there are some Japanese... Like, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 was actually... Yeah, the Western... The Western games... The Western-focused games are the ones that release here first. <laughs> Do you really think there's a whole fighting circuit, a whole fighting game circuit in Japan? You never know. There could be, but I find it a lot less likely than that there is one here, which there is. Because I remember the whole thing when Mo when Marvel vs. Uh, not Marvel vs. Capcom, when Mortal Kombat, the new one, came out, everyone was like, Wow, this game's actually pretty well mechanic. We might actually be able to use this in, like, tournaments and stuff. It always shocks me how many, like video game tournaments there are, and how many people live off of playing these games. Yeah, that makes no sense. I remember seeing a show on TV once where people were competitively playing Halo 2, which was a number of years ago. I've seen, uh, I've seen plenty of videos. My friend from work, uh, he actually got me into StarCraft 2, 
and watching Koreans play StarCraft 2 is the most ridiculous thing. How is he not... What the fuck? Did you see that? His body just reassembled itself after I, I know, sniped it. I know, it was really weird. No, but, um... Oh, wait, this is... Yeah, Mish Mishaki's Cleaver. I'm not even gonna talk to you, you moron. <laughs> um... No, but, like, these guys, the two guys I saw going out, because they still play StarCraft 1 mostly, competitively. But, like, these two guys were in glass, sealed-off rooms with <laughs> high-end computers, with all the best equipment, and there were literally, a, there was literally a stadium of Koreans waving signs and cheering. Well, you know, that might sound stupid, but think about this. It's I'm not saying it sounds really stupid, but... It's just, it, it's so foreign to me. Like, I would never see us doing things like, for that, for video games like that here. It'd be and nice people if might, we did, because people, people might be wrestling, and that's really stupid. Well, yeah, wrestling is pretty dumb. Watch two me big fat men tackle each other to the ground. Yeah. It just sounds wrong. I or know. Ultimate it's... fighting. I kind of like ultimate fighting. What's that? Ultimate fighting is exactly what it sounds like. It's <laughs> MMA. Where it's like literally free, just do do whatever you want fighting. Pretty much. It's kind of cool. A, it's something my grandfather really likes. Huh. But that stuff, it's real. They beat each other's faces in all the time. I already freed them all. Already. Now, both him and I would like to have the skills, but neither Whoa. one of us would ever want to actually do that. Oh yeah, obviously, definitely not. But. Those guys, they beat each other up pretty good, and people are just cheering away. It's the blood sport aspect, well, I guess. I mean, why do you think the Roman Colosseum was so popular? <laughs> yeah, I'd rather just see StarCraft. I mean, that, at least people aren't beating each other up for it. Well, yeah. Because, you know, I don't, I don't want to be like outlawed or anything. When you think about it, those people would get serious injuries. Well, yeah, I mean, that's what happens in any sport. Yeah. Oh, nice, I can do the roll. Watch this. I don't know, you probably don't have this ability. No, I don't. Oh, I just dodged the hell out of that. Oh, don't even, oh, oh, fuck. That was an area of effect. That's how I didn't dodge. My athletic ability in uh, Oblivion is pretty bad. I'm rolling into walls. The camera's freaking out. In your let's play, I mean, you like move at 40 miles an hour and just jump around. Me? Well, I move like a tank and go about five. Oh. Yes. Where am I supposed to be going? Oh, I guess I go here and then down into here. Now, also, as of this recording, I personally just saw Super 8. It was really good, and I recommend going to watch it. Come on, chuckleheads, go! I know, those idiots go so slow! Go! Thank you. <laughs> oh, what the- Oh, these wraiths followed me, are you- Oh, now I'm over encumbered too? Am I over encumbered with the sword? No, I'm not. Thank God. Oh, wait. You know why I'm over encumbered? Probably. Because I don't have the sword on anymore. Uh, you having fun teleporting up, guys? I'm just going to stand there. Not going to watch me avenge your, ma avenge your master? Cool, guys. Uh, let me... Hold on. Before I go in there... There's nothing in there. No, there, there will be. Oh, what enemy is nearby? Are you shitting me? Oh, I guess he... I'm just so low level that nothing showed up. I thought I was supposed to defeat the Underlord or something. No, oh, I no. Don't. Actually, now I'm remembering. They actually say that um, he actually left long ago, but his, he actually died a long time ago, but his curse remained. That's what I remember it being now. Hey, yeah, idiots. Cause... Hey, you fulfilled your last duty. Now I can kill you, right? What? <laughs> Would you stop trying to kill him? He's oh, already not dead. My... Oh fuck! Just die, you <laughs> useless idiot. You stop oh, this is a, this is almost a full episode. I think when I go to Martin, I'm just, we're just gonna end the episode. We actually got something done, which is always good. Oh yes. Not like we have plenty of other things that we can't talk about that have to get done. Well, yeah. Secret Project X Eleven. Excellent. Isn't that a? Isn't X-11 a character from Marvel vs. Capcom? I think so. Like, or is it X-23 or something? Whatever that female Wolverine-like person is. It's supposed to be Lady Deathstrike, but they did a bad job with it. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, yeah, you did order the game and uh, do your first impressions and be like, I'm disappointed. <laughs> no, I said it was great, and I never played it again. The 
for those that are watching, I literally did the first impressions video and I haven't played it since. That's gonna be a fun. Never mind. You know what I'm. T you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. That'll be interesting to do. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, we are now returning to Cloud Ruler Temple to give. Oh God, I'm tired. Uh, it's so hot here; it just drains all your energy. Um, give Martin the armor of Tiba Septim, which actually is not very good. Uh, hey, you no. would think it would be better, but I guess that's why, so Martin, old. why do you need all these freaking books? Why do you <laughs> I already took brushes? them all. <laughs> you took all of them. I, th I think I remember that some of these. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Doors of Oblivion. Skill up, baby. Woo. Yeah. A lot warp of in the West. Books. Yep. That's a. I always remember that Warp in the West is a skill book. Uh, Amulet of Kings isn't. What's what? funny is Gage I took all silk? the books in Cloud the Ruler Temple and put them in my library in the Armory Lab. My progress on the Mysterium Zarxes is. How goes your search? Here's the armor, dude. Something blood may flow through my veins, but you have. But you have the soul of a hero. The Damn right, I do. Tibus yeah, yeah. Joffrey will be amazed. Joffrey that I will not destroy the scraping of the blood. priests about relics of Tibus Septim, it seems. Ha ha ha! Those crazy, those crazy blades being very protective of the ancient armor of their, uh, of their master. Yeah, I mean. How dare While they? While you were gone, yeah. I've made some progress. Great Welkin stone. Ah. Fuck. Have been plundered one by one over the years. Yeah, that is pretty and bad. There is only oh, one place. Miss Carkind. I think that's how you, how you pronounce it. Of one of, it is I set. don't know. Miss Carkind. I, I, I skip. Wait. Miss Carkind is one of. The yeah, Miss Carkind. Okay. Miss Carkind. The Great Welkin Stone. We're all plundered except for one. How convenient. Hey, Boris. You want to die, Boris? <laughs> you no? don't okay. kill Boris. Did you stop killing these. Oh people? yeah. Did you, did you ever notice this? No. Drawing on the floor. I wonder why these open... I can't remember where the captain's blade is supposed to be. I could have sworn I remember it being visible somewhere. Like, you could you could click on it. You couldn't take it, but you could click on it. I never knew those were swords until I saw your Let's Play of it. I know, actually. Yeah, I didn't either until... Not that Let's Play, but... There was a time when I... For most of my first... Pl second playthrough, even. I hadn't even known. What is all this? Mandrake root. Oh, that's good stuff. That stuff cures disease. Ooh, Mandrake Root. Anyway, guys, we're going to stop for now because next time we need to go recover the Great Welkin sco Scone. Yeah, can you get some magic Yeah, the magic Great tea? Welkin Scone of... Uh, fuck it, I'm just going to call it the Great Welkin Scone. I'm just going to do it. I don't even care. <laughs> Why did you jump in the fire? <laughs> huh? What are you talking about? It's kind of cold. <laughs> jump in the fire! I mean, we, we, are, we are on top of a cold mountain and uh, everyone just wears armor. Look at it, I'm literally not even, my health bar is not even going down perceptibly. Jump in the fire. Like, boom, do, 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 jump in the fire. What, is that a song? It's a Metallica song. Oh, okay, I thought you were just making it up as you went. No. I'm just going to climb to the top of Cloud Ruler for literally no reason. See, I cannot do that. I, I can... know you can't. Come on. Oh, yeah. I am the beacon of hope for the whole Cyrodiil. You need to be able to fire a giant fireball that can, like, evaporate part of the mountain. Oh my god, can you imagine if Red Faction and Oblivion, like, had a baby, more or less? A software infant? That would be awesome, actually. Oblivion with destructible environments? Yeah. Maybe Runes Dagon is do going on a rampage and just tears down half of Bruma or some shit like that? I don't know, but we've been going on too long. Yes, we have been going on for too long, guys. We are just talking about nothing at this point. I am going to end the episode from the top of Cloud Ruler Temple. Next time, we are going to go to Miskarkand and recover the Great Welkin sco Scone, yes, of the Ancient Aliens. But until next time, guys, my name is Timpedia. And I'm General Lutz. And I don't know if the General will be here, but at the very least, I will catch you guys next time.